when I'm around for metal. What's on your mind? Nothing would surprise me with your kind. I don't care if he threw a bloody boulder at you. That's out of line. Breeze must be blowing in land today. Bringing in the stench of the foundry. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Ablodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. 
If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Ah, oh, a pity. But you may change your mind. And if you do, don't hesitate to seek me out. I'll always be happy to see you. Just one go. the lifetime's feel of watching little men puff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. He's protected by his steel watch for now. And Orin will have her own defenses, should we choose to play the part of Gortash's bloodhounds. We cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. It would be irritatingly true to form. Who did not? A harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? I have, and while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine fingers keen. A name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. The mysterious Keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. Nor are we. But I trust she knows the value of collaboration, especially in times like these. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall, huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. Flattered as I am, you're fully supported as it is. At your command. are calling on you again, aren't they? I haven't seen you sleep through the night once in the past days. I knew you had some nasty habits, but it, I didn't want to pry over much, but bloody hells! A pulseborn! Probably more Baldurian parents scare their children with stories of your kind than mine. I thought your kind was extinct goes to show. You should always check your facts. 
So, how are you feeling? Keen to reconnect with your family? Or ready to throw yourself in an oubliette? You know, though I don't look a day over a hundred, I was alive in Baldur's Gate when the Baal spawn first arose. I was barely aware of it, locked in the kennels as a young spawn. Rather thrilling, I get to watch the bloodshed firsthand. I felt very unfashionable missing out last time. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <sighs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Casador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. It risks exposure. I know. Subtle, isn't it? I hope so. Because I'm not striking another deal with Raphael. Who knows what he'd demand this time. But if the citizens of Baldur's Gate don't know anything... My brothers and sisters might. Casador is a master of secrets. But the other spawn must have seen something. God, this is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? Yes, of course. Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? Perhaps, if you lost a follower or two, I prefer to travel in smaller groups. It's more... intimate. Well, in that case, I'm all yours.
the outside. You asked me to come here. Don't you remember? <laughs> Housing the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. <sighs> you yearn for a better class of company, Astarion? <laughs> God's name. Who'd want to spend time with anyone, great or good? The mermaid, faithful readers, has the tackiest architecture. Cobblers walk in a pauper, strut out a duke. Mm, what's that? That's Gortash, isn't it? What's on your mind? Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. Excellent. Let's go. an special day to visit the family home of Archduke Enver Gortash. We're celebrating our dear son's magnificent achievement with a special run of leather-soled shoes. Gods, Gortash has a mother. I assumed he sprang fully formed from a lich's ass crack or something. Help 
tadpoles, squirms. These people are infected with the parasite, but something is off. You search her mind, but the psionic forces that control her are different, split somehow. Your own consciousness slips into the gap. Help me! God, help me! Ember's ruined my mind. He's taken my body. I should have slammed the door in his face, but I let him in and he rammed some kind of worm in our eyes. I'm here, but I can't speak. I can't act. I'm trapped. He said he wanted to make us powerless. Still bitter after all these years, but we did what was best for him, for all of us. We had debts, world-ending debts, trying to keep this cursed shop afloat. Dangerous lenders who said they'd bury us all if we didn't pay. Then a warlock offered us a pretty penny for in for service. He was a smart boy. Too smart. It was give him up and all of us live or refuse and die. What choice did we have? We got good coin for him. Closed our debts and all of us kept our lives. Enver included. You may disagree, Enver did. But we don't deserve this, this torment. You're the first person who's heard the real me in months. There has to be another way. I deserve to live again. I deserve my own life. There has to be. I can't live like this. I'm trapped. Trapped. My son. You've seen what he's like, same now as when he was a boy. Hateful little wretch! If you were me, you'd have sent him away too, believe you me. Wait, wait! Your tadpole lashes and recoils. The connection is broken. Come again soon. So, Gortash's parents sold him to a warlock? Why does that sound so familiar? I've got no interest in empathizing with the fuck. But maybe what he did to me was some kind of mirror of what happened to him. When you get fucked up, you fuck up right back. Well, hello.
still alive, so that's progress. All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. I'd join you, but things are looking a tad crowded. Wonderful. I was beginning to feel a little left out. There's no time to waste. Gets people killed. Oh, but surely we're safe with one of Nine Fingers' big strapping boys to protect us. That's her sigil on your ring, is it not? Eyes to yourself, elf. See nine fingers? She didn't tell me. Always don't let anyone through, Tuscan. Never hears a list of special guests. Confusing. Come, I'll take you to the guild hall. Nine fingers is inside. In you go. Before I change my mind. Well, well. The fabled haunt of Nine Fingers King. Never visited before. I thought you got around. I always steer clear. If guild members started disappearing, people would start asking questions. And Casador hated questions. Understandable. When the answer is invariably the silver head one ate them.
Careful. I'm behind. Is that blood? No, never mind. What a day. For now. Whatever comes, I'm ready. All is ash and meat. Breathe deep. That is the true scent of Baldur's Gate assaulting your nostrils. They're all on the same side, friend. Wow, look who it is! Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? I survived the hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. Victor isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Sometimes. I 
I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I don't do requests. But toss me a few coppers, and I'll shoot you a saucy wink across the bar. Of course I do. But I find a Baldurian audience prefers Baldurian songs. So if you'd be so kind, step aside to make room for the coins to fall. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <laughs> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kalimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unhold. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. This is the one who saved my life. So really, he owes you your gold piece. But we can settle debts later, Nine Fingers. For now, we need help. We're searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course, 
Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stonelord. Lies! I... I considered that, but there's a pattern to his strikes, and intent. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. There's little point in pressing Nine Fingers further. She means what she says. But we swore no vows. She won't tell us where to find Minsk? Someone else in her guild hall will. We need to be swift. I suppose we must greet the local wildlife. Guild hall is awash with ill scented gossip at the best of times. These days, they have nothing but the Stone Lord to talk about. Fingers is a master of strategic. Strategical. She's clever for us. Won't fight the Stone Lord out in the open, but she's got a spot picked out, see? And. and uh... I don't care about Stone Lord Tut. Don't care about some ambush. I asked, do you eat my last pickled ooze? Huh? Bugger off! I'm talking to my friend about an ooze. Now, now. He who keeps his manners keeps his teeth. Besides, you are only pretending to be as wine-soaked as your friend here. I... Uh... How can you tell? I've been to fouler festivals than this, and you... ...have the stage presence of Volothamp Gedarm. Now, you were speaking to my friend... ...politely. Huh? Back to sleep! Look, Tut here is an old friend of Nine Fingers. Saved her as a kid or some such, I don't know. 
If I don't keep him busy like she asked, he's likely to run off and try to take on the Stone Lord himself. So Tut's gonna tell you what he knows about the Stone Lord. You're gonna leave us to our merry old time, and you're not gonna put my name near any of this. Yes? Tut! Stone Lord. The Stone Lord, aye. Bastard's going after the accounting house, but he doesn't know that there's just another guild operation, eh? Nine Fingers is gonna catch him with his claws in their coffers. <laughs> I pity the bastard. The counting house? But what the hells could Minsk want there? Happy? Now, why were you? We want drink in peace. Maybe we can help him. The prism, right? He should shut that tadpole up. If he doesn't kick our butts first, it's kind of his thing. No room in your party. What should I do? Excellent. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 